Beyond the Flag at the Brighton Speedway, powered by On Dirt Racing News. To wrap up the 2014 edition of the Ultramar CST Labor Day Classic Weekend at the Brighton Speedway. Four divisions on tap, featuring the Sanderson's Tire and Automotive Southern Ontario Sprints. First feature of the evening was a 50-lap A-Main Invitational for the Brighton Automotive Pro Stocks. And the outside invader from the Humberstone Speedway, James Thompson in car number 00, took away the lead from Doug Anderson early on in the race and led all the way to the 50-lap checkered flag to earn the victory here tonight with Doug Anderson finishing in the second spot and the 49 of Jonah Mutton. That's the car regularly piloted piloted by Jason McCrory that came home in the third position. A very exciting pro stock race that came down to the very final lap as Doug Anderson grabbed the lead coming out of turn number two before Thompson stole it back coming out of turn number four to pick up the feature race win. Second on the card was the main event of the evening, the 25-lap feature for the Southern Ontario Sprints. And the championship was in the balance between Glenn Styers and Mitch Brown. And ultimately walking away with the victory, though, was Styers' teammate in the number five machine. It was Keith Dempster that picked up his first Brighton win of the 2014 season and first win of the year with the SOS. And coming home second was Mitch Brown on a daring move to the top side on a very slick racetrack with two laps to go to get by both Chris Jones and April Wilson into the second position and April Wilson held on for the third spot on the podium here this evening with the Southern Ontario Sprints to conclude their 2014 campaign and ultimately that led to Glenn Stiers walking away with the 2014 championship his first SOS championship since winning the championship back in 2010. After the SOS 30 lap A main a topless A main for the pro late models here at the Brighton Speedway presented by Vanderland Building Products and it was a last lap pass off a lap 29 restart that allowed Steve Baldwin to get around the number 25 of Greg Bellier on the top side. And Bellier, who led the first 29 laps, had to settle for the second spot ahead of the 29 of Phil Potts. So a very exciting late model race that came down to the very final lap. But Steve Baldwin is the one that walks away with the checkered flag. Next up, it was a 30-lap A main for the Bills Johns Comp 4s and an invitational of their own tonight. And it was... The number 97 machine normally piloted by Courtney Maston, and it was Terry Huff driving that machine and he drove it to a checkered flag. Huff had his own car at the start of the season but had it destroyed and did not think that he would be back uh, in victory lane here this season but uh, takes the Maston number 97 all the way to victory lane tonight over the zero of Tyler French and the number 79 of Ryan Oosterholt, the asphalt driver from the Peterborough Speedway, picks up a podium third place finish here at the Brighton Speedway this evening. We had a couple of non-point races to close out the night. The Pro late model mechanics race was uh, up to conclude it and the number 11 machine of Tim Jones came away with the victory passing the number 25 of Steve Blight on the last lap after Blight had taken the lead away from the number 11 machine on lap number 9. And to conclude the 2014 Ultramar CST Labor Day Classic weekend was a 15 lap wingless sprints exhibition by the Southern Ontario Sprints that seven drivers elected to take place in the 15 lap mini feature and at the end of the 15 laps it was the number 98 machine of Paul Pakonin the Brockville Ontario driver that walked away with the victory ahead of the number 15 AW of April Wilson and the 11J of Chris Jones that came away in the third spot. That concludes the 2014 Ultramar CST Labor Day Classic Weekend here at the Brighton Speedway, presented by Lucas Oil, Extreme Rush Adventures, Mystical Distributing, Sanderson's Tire and Automotive, and Rock 107. We thank you very much uh, if you joined us here at the Brighton Speedway. If you weren't able to make it out, we hope to see you back here in 2015 for the Southern Ontario Sprints wrap-up feature event. We'll see you back here at the Brighton Speedway next Saturday night for the fourth annual $6,000 to win Great Crate Race for the Go Nuclear Late Model Challenge Series and the $2,000 to win Danny Reed Memorial for the Oil Guard Canadian Modifieds. For all the details, make sure you log on to www.brightonspeedway.com. For everybody here at the Brighton Speedway and for On Dirt Racing News.com, my name is Clayton Johns. We'll see you next Saturday night at 7.